In this video, I will show you how to perform intrusion detection and network security monitoring using Security Onion. Within my virtualized environment, I have Security Onion, Kali Linux, and Metasploitable. The purpose of this demonstration is to show you how Security Onion can detect and alert upon malicious traffic between Kali Linux and Metasploitable in real time. First of all, we're going to open Squeal. Squeal is built into Security Onion, providing log aggregation for network security monitoring tools such as Snort and OSSEC. This also provides visualization of alerts. Select all, start Squeal. Go to Agent Status. Now, as you can see, the PCAP, Snort, and OSSEC agent is up, which is good. Using Armitage, which is a front end for Metasploit, I will scan and perform a Hail Mary attack against the Metasploitable VM. This should trigger many alarms within Security Onion because it is a very noisy scanning and attack methodology. The Hail Mary attack will use all available exploits within the exploit database. Keep in mind that 192.168.128.132 is the IP address of Metasploitable. Right click the Metasploitable host and click Scan. Once the scan has completed, click Find Attacks. Click Attacks, Hail Mary. After the Hail Mary attack is complete, the Metasploitable VM will be compromised. Hail Mary attacks are generally not the best attack method, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we want to generate as many alerts as possible to demonstrate the functionality of Security Onion. As you can see, there are multiple interactive shells which will give me full access to the compromised system. To prove that there are multiple active TCP connections between Kali Linux and Metasploitable, I will show it to you using the command line of Metasploitable by typing netstat ano and piping it to less. This shows the active connections between Kali Linux and Metasploitable. Note that 192.168.128.129 is the IP address for Kali Linux. This has an established reverse TCP shell to the local host. As you can see, Squeal has detected an abundance of exploitation attempts and other malicious activity which pertains to the Hail Mary attack. We're going to focus on one of the alerts and a meterpreter shell and verify the traffic in Wireshark, which I have been running behind the scenes to capture all network traffic. The alert we're going to focus upon is ET Trojan Gozi Check-In, which is a banking Trojan. In the Wireshark filter, I will type frame contains double quote forward slash JOS dot PHP double quote. I know to do this based on my knowledge of the behavior of this Trojan. I will right click one of the packets and click Follow TCP Stream. As you can see, an abnormal HTTP GET request was attempted by the Metasploitable VM to perform a check-in in a manner which is indicative of a known Trojan infection. Note that although no connection was established, this could still indicate malware infection. This incident would need to be reported and probably would require a wipe and re-imaging of the infected box if verified as a true positive. 
To isolate the packet which pertains to the established meterpreter shell, I will type frame contains meterpreter. I will then click on one of the packets and follow TCP stream. As you can see, after the successful three-way handshake, this shows multiple packets which indicate bidirectional connectivity between the Kali Linux and Metasploitable VMs. The TCP stream shows the string interpreter and other indicators which demonstrates the successful exploitation. In a live environment, this would be a high severity incident due to the fact that multiple shells exist. Thanks for watching my video. Please thumbs up and subscribe.